In this session, we will understand the usage of Raspberry Pi with Pi camera and we will understand the functionalities through the terminal commands as well as through the script. We will see first the terminal and the interface connections will also be explained to you quickly. Let's first understand how do we connect the Raspberry Pi with the Pi cam. You can see that we are connecting the Raspberry Pi and the Pi camera which is kept in front of you and the cable that we have for the interfacing is called FFC cable. This cable is the one which is going to help you in connecting your camera with the Raspberry Pi. We have got a slot available on board in the Raspberry Pi called as the camera and I am accessing it right now. The locks are to be released and once the lock is released connected this way the line should face you and insert that properly. Once the inserting happens lock the camera slot again and once it is done it will be stiff and it will not move here and there. So once the connection is all proper if you keep it properly on the floor the camera will be facing the roof just like what you are seeing right now. Now the Raspberry Pi board is powered and the camera is facing the roof. This is the best way to check if the connections are all right. This is a simple connection and we are going to test the functionalities of the camera right now by taking pictures and by taking video. Click the VNC viewer and click the IP address that is meant for the Raspberry Pi and once it is connected you will get into the Raspberry Pi screen. Now we are going to access the camera through the terminal commands. We need to open the terminal. Once the terminal is open we can go ahead with typing the commands which enables us to access the Raspberry Pi camera. You can take a picture by typing the command raspi still hyphen o followed by the path where you need to save the picture. I want to save the picture in the desktop so I am going to desktop to find out the exact path of it and I am copying it. Once I copied it I can paste it in the desktop where I need to mention the name of the file as well. The name of the file has to be myimage.jpg. It can be any name as per your wish and I have given myimage.jpg. Here you can see that the command has thrown an error. It will throw an error because we have done something wrong. So what is the mistake? We need to make sure that we are going ahead with appropriate configuration settings carried out. Go to the Raspberry Pi configuration and there in interfaces you have to enable the camera interface. After enabling it click OK and it will prompt you for a reboot which is mandatory. Just click reboot and in few seconds your board is all ready to be used along with camera being connected. After few seconds once the rebooting happened click the VNC viewer and click the IP address that is meant for the Raspberry Pi and once it is connected you will get into the Raspberry Pi screen. Now go back to the terminal again and here we can use the commands now properly and it should work. But if you do not want to use the GUI option, you can also use the configuration option with the command we presented and there you can see that P1 camera options are available. There you can enable or disable the Raspberry Pi connections to the camera interface. And since it is already enabled through the previous GUI steps that we have carried out, we are ignoring it right now and this will not require a restart because we have not made any changes. Now you can prefer the GUI approach or the command prompt approach whichever you like. Now we are going to issue commands where it will help you in capturing the picture and it will take two seconds for the photograph to be captured and we are going to test it right now. A raspi still hyphen o and the location where I need to save it and I am preferring it to be saved in the desktop so I need to copy paste it in the terminal appropriately and the name of the file has to be mentioned. The name of the file as I wanted earlier it remains the same myimage.jpg. The moment I click enter within two seconds of time frame you will get the picture available in the desktop for you to check it. Yes you can see the picture myimage.jpg there and when you double click it you can see that the picture has taken the photograph of the roof because the camera was facing the roof when I explained you this concept. So now the picture is taken and the next step is to check if video can be recorded. We are going to record a video for five seconds and for that commands are available. So we are going to use the command to record a short video with the command raspa vid vid hyphen o and again the path where you need to store the video along with the name of the video has to be presented. The video name is myvideo.h264. It is the format that we want the video to be stored with. Once you click enter in few seconds the 5 seconds video will be recorded and it will be made available on the desktop screen of you. 
you can see that the my video dot h264 is available on screen right now and we can open it to see if the video is recorded for that we need vlc media player and i have installed it already in my machine so you can see that in the sounds and video you can see that vlc media player is available and i can click it and i can open it as well if you have not gotten it you can install it through the command that i am typing it in front of you sudo apt install hyphen y vlc when you give this command the vlc media player will be installed and you can use the vlc media player for playing the video that you have shot or any other video which is available with you now we can see if the video can be played so the video is available in the desktop hence i am navigating to the desktop with cd command vlc my video dot h264 is the name of the video file and once i issue that the video will be opened click continue and you can say that the video which is a short video for about 5 seconds is being played which was recorded earlier that is it we have seen how exactly to capture a picture how exactly to capture a video with raspberry pi cam and through command line interface it is now time for us to get the camera accessed through the python code for that to be done we need to have few steps done and we need to ensure if the required libraries are installed for us to use the pi cam with raspberry pi through the python code we need to have a library properly available what is that library the library as we have mentioned in the theoretical discussion on the ppt is the pi cam library we need to install it with the command pip install pi camera if it is already installed you will get a message like what you are getting in front of you but otherwise it will get installed properly so make sure that this pi camera library is installed for you to use the python code let's delete the files that are already available which are image and video files we have captured during the previous process we are going to generate a new image file and new video feed right now you can see the python file that we have written towards capturing the image as well as to capture the video the image capturing will capture an image by name myimage.jpg it will be stored in the desktop similarly myvideo.h264 will be a 10 second video which will be stored in the desktop as well you could see a line called as camera.start_preview this will not work here because we cannot see it with vnc viewer we need a dedicated hdmi port and which needs a dedicated screen as well so this won't work in the current setup that we are showing you hence it is apt to comment it and to run this file we have shown you this here because you should understand that there is an option available like this and the purpose is served right now you can see that this particular line will be commented and then we can run the code where we will be able to capture an image and a video feed now after saving it we are running the module and we will get the results available for us in few seconds it takes few seconds for us to get the image captured as well as a 10 second video capture and both of them should be available in the desktop because we are running the file from the desktop can you see it right now yes myimage.jpg and myvideo.h264 is also available the same kind of footages are available here the last time we did it through the commands and this time we are doing it through the python file let's open the video feed to see if it is also working fine yes we got a video feed and it is similar to the last one because the camera is facing the roof this is how somebody can simply use the camera pi camera with raspberry pi for us to get the video or image clipped and both the ways of using it with python script as well as commands have been explained clearly in this session we will clearly understand how do we get the feed from the pi camera being relayed to the dedicated screen we are going to get all the video feed all the things that are being captured by the pi cam coming directly to the dedicated screen in this session and it is very simple and easy to do we request you to follow the procedure you can see that we have got a dedicated screen which is a small display available over there and it is interfaced with our raspberry pi we have used ffc cable for us to interface the display to the raspberry pi as you can see right here when i turn the setup upside down the ffc cable is the interface medium that i use and it should not be forgotten also we use these two cables for powering up process once it is all done we are all set to go we need to now burn the code so as to get all the feed from the camera directly being relayed to the dedicated screen that we have connected to the code is very simple and we are going to open the same and we will explain you the same right here 
The code is previously used and explained as well, but we do not require the options that we have used in the previous attempt. So we are going to comment the camera capture and camera start recording option because we are not going to use that and instead we are going to get the live feed. For us to get the live feed and since we have got a dedicated port available, we can use the camera dot start for view option available in front of us. We need to specify how long do we need to get the feed continuously sent in and we are making it 100 seconds. Once it is done, we need to also specify the camera dot stop option enabled here. So camera dot stop preview will stop the preview after the specified time. Now we are running this code and this code will get the camera feed directly sent to the dedicated screen. You can see that the roof is being captured right now and I will wave my hands right now to see if the same is reflected on the dedicated screen. The camera is now relaying the pictures, the video feed into the dedicated screen as you can see right now. If you want to stop this process before 100 seconds that we have specified, you can close the screen that is the shell terminal that is available in front of you and that closes the process. You can see that now we have closed, we have closed the shell and that's it. It is very important for us to understand how the video feed from the PyCam can be sent over the network. I am going to capture the video from the PyCam and it will be sent over the network and I can see it from a PC or from a computer through a VLC media player. That's the entire process and it's very interesting and easy to follow. We will understand that through the process that we are going to explain you right now and we request you to follow it for testing. For the first step, let's open the terminal that is available in the Raspberry Pi. We are going to open the Raspberry Pi terminal and there we need to issue the command specified. The command specified has got something very important to note. It is nothing but the port number. You can see that right now it is 8400 which has to be remembered because we are going to use it elsewhere in the future. And once this command is issued, the video stream is now available over the network. Now how do we see it? That's the next step that we need to understand. Go to your PC where VLC player is installed. Let, let this screen be passed. Let this screen be available as it is right now. Let's go to VLC player from the laptop or the PC or whatever you have and there we have options available for us to see the screen. Go to media, in media you can see that open network stream option is there. Click that and in that you have got an option to enter the URL. There you need to paste the IP address of your Raspberry Pi properly along with the port number. The IP address is made available right there 192.168.43.18 along with 8400 as the port number has to be specified here. So once you present it properly here and then click play, whatever stream is coming from the Raspberry Pi camera will be made available in the VLC media player here. Let's type it properly first and let's issue play. Once the play is issued, you will get the screen immediately filled with the content that is sent through the Pi camera. You can see that there will be a mild delay of two seconds, which is visualized right in front of you. When I move it here in my camera, it is available right now after two seconds. That delay is inevitable because it is coming over the network and this is how you can get the video feed over the network from the PyCam.